заговорили о возможности отправки на Украину натовских военных контингентов. Но мы помним судьбу, судьбу тех, кто направлял когда-то свои контингенты на территорию нашей страны. Но теперь последствия для возможных интервентов будут гораздо более трагичны. Президент Владимир Путин, a BRICS Economic Blog member, who is likewise one of the five establishing nations of the BRICS blog, which incorporates China, Brazil, India, South Africa, and Russia cautioned Western nations on Thursday that there was a certified gamble of atomic conflict in the event that they sent their own soldiers to battle in Ukraine. And he said Moscow had the weapons to strike focuses in the West as Macron opened the entryway on Monday to European countries, sending troops to Ukraine, despite the fact that he forewarned that there was no agreement at this stage. His remarks provoked a huge number of other Western nations, including the US and England, to say they had no such plans, while the Kremlin cautioned that contention among Russia and the US drove NATO military partnership would be unavoidable assuming that European individuals from NATO sent troops to battle in Ukraine. Will any further activities of Macron towards sending NATO troops to Ukraine be the very upgrade to our third universal conflict? What is in question for France? French President Emmanuel Macron met with heads of the resistance to examine the conflict in Ukraine. He has recommended that Ukraine's partners shouldn't preclude sending troops. Emmanuel Macron has required a parliamentary decision on France's tactical help for Ukraine, as he endeavors to put the focus on the extreme right's jumbled situations on Russia. Expanding on a progression of hawkish mediations on European security in front of EU races, the French president's move active powers the two places of parliament to take a position on the country's guard accord with Kyiv. Macron's trick plans to help electors to remember Marine Le Pen's previous vicinity to Vladimir Putin, leader of Russia, trying to dull her flood in the surveys, where her extreme right rassemblement public party is 12 focuses in front of his moderate collusion. The discussion intends to make all ideological brutes responsible and expose deceptions, said Benjamin Haddad, a MP with Macron's moderate Renaissance party. The extreme right says they support Ukraine, however, but that is essentially false when you check their record out. The RN demonstrated it would cast a ballot against it on Tuesday, as well as the extreme left France unbowed, LFI party. However, with Macron's and other standard gatherings in favor, endorsement in the public. The non-restricting decisions on Tuesday and Wednesday are additionally important for Macron's difference in attached Ukraine, as he has developed progressively vocal about the requirement for Europe to accomplish other things to prevent Moscow from winning the conflict, particularly as Kyiv faces difficulties on the combat zone and US support has evaporated. He broke an untouchable and was immediately rebuked by NATO partners for saying last month that sending Western soldiers to Ukraine ought not be precluded. In France, the remarks scared general society, drew judgment from across the political range, and set off a serious discussion about exactly the way in which far France ought to go to help Ukraine. Surveys showed 79% of general society would go against French soldiers battling in Ukraine, yet a slight greater part of 52% helped troopers being shipped off complete help capabilities, as per an Alev survey. Pastors have since explained that Macron was alluding to military faculty shipped off Ukraine to assist with demoning, preparing, or other calculated help, and not to battle in battle. Yet, the president remained by his remarks, and said Europe was indeed confronting when we can't be apprehensive. Clean and Baltic authorities have likewise flight help for an expanded Western military presence in Ukraine, albeit not so much for battle. Macron's methodology was a major subject of his moderate partnerships mission send off in Lille on Saturday. In a blazing discourse, state head Gabriel Attal went after the non-abrasiveness and shortcoming of the Pen's party on Russia. Allow us to recall that they said they appreciated Vladimir Putin, would not denounce the attack of Crimea, and that for a really long time, it was Russia that funded their party, he said. In the event that it had depended on them, he added, France would give arms to Russia to squash the Ukrainians. Accordingly, 
Oren said Atul's study was Babel, denied any delicateness on Russia, and added that it had repaid a credit to a Russian bank. In front of the vote, Bardella said the Alarm would avoid and decried Makram's mission for zeroing in on issues that were not even close to French individuals' day-to-day -day needs, for example, energy costs, wrongdoing and movement. Macron's tactical guide agreement marked last month with Ukraine's leader Volodymyr Zelensky reserves a UR of three billion help this year. That is comparable to the UK's vow to allow two pounds five in this year. However, definitely not exactly the seven eurozone been guaranteed by Germany. Like other reciprocal settlements, it incorporates just painstakingly supported language that upholds Ukraine's European and Euro-Atlantic desires, including towards European association and NATO participation, and nothing on troops. Just before the vote, Zelensky looked to console the French public. Your youngsters won't bite the dust in Ukraine, he told Le Monde paper. We are the ones following through on the heaviest cost. President Emmanuel Macron on Thursday recently said France wouldn't preclude any choice to help Ukraine two years into Russia's intrusion. Heads of a few significant French ideological groups said. Talking after the over two-hour meeting, the party bosses said the discussions with Macron left them worried. But the blaming him for utilizing the contention to support his alliances remaining in front of significant European races this mid-year. President Emmanuel Macron had last week days numerous in Europe by declining to preclude the dispatch of Western brown troops to Ukraine, highlighting Russia's solidifying position. Furthermore, recently Macron encouraged Ukraine's partners not to be fearful in supporting the ex-Soviet country to fend off the Russian attack. Some party chiefs on Thursday said Macron pushed a no-restrictions way to deal with counter-Russian President Vladimir Putin. Green faction pioneer Marine Tondelier described Macron saying Putin clearly has no restrictions. She said it was very stressing to see Macron tell the gathering, we should show we have no restrictions as well. With numerous Western nations moving away from that, while others, particularly in Eastern Europe, communicating support on providing Ukraine Macron may be more sure of his than any time in recent memory. By the by, sending progress weapons to Ukraine or positioning Western soldiers could uplift pressures among NATO and Russia, possibly prompting a contention Putin compared to one stage away from universal conflict Iowa. Jordan Bardella, leader of the extreme right Rassemblement Public, Oran Party, said he had begged Macron not to do battle with Russia. The president's reasoning incorporates no restrictions and no red lines, said Bardella. Manuel Bompard, of the extreme left party La France Insumis, added, I showed up stressed, and I left significantly more stressed. The discussion over sending troops to Ukraine uncovers significant contrast in partners' way to deal with fighting, making an appearance from Moscow. Kremlin representative Dmitry Peskov said on Thursday that Macron keeps on raising the level of France's immediate contribution in the Ukraine war. France's parliament got an opportunity to decide on the country's Ukraine technique, including a reciprocal security settlement endorsed with Kyiv last month. Non-restricting votes occurred on Tuesday in the Assemblée Nationale and in the Senate on Wednesday recently. On Thursday, Macron likewise met with Moldovan President Maya Sandu, vowing France's enduring help for her ex-Soviet country as strains mount among Chisinau and favorable to Russian separatists. During the gathering, the two marked a reciprocal guard bargain as well as an financial guide, albeit no subtleties were given. Later Thursday, France was likewise set to have a video meeting of almost 30 nations, including Ukraine, which will circle back to the drives examined at a worldwide Ukraine culmination facilitated by Macron last week. In front of Thursday's gathering with the resistance, Macron had addressed his ancestors François Holland and Nicolas Sarkozy at the Elysee Castle late Wednesday. Addressing columnists after the discussions, Holland called for more guide for Ukraine as well as European solidarity. The main conceivable reaction to show that we are with the Ukrainians in absolute fortitude, that we are giving them all the help they need without participating in any battle ourselves, Holland said. Gotten some information about the chance of sending troops, the communist previous president said, my situation on military issues is, the less we say, the better. On Wednesday, government representative Priska Thevenot said 
that it was very self-evident that the iron was not lined up with Makram's call to do all that to guarantee Russia's loss. Top state leader Gabriel Attal has blamed the Iran for supporting Russia more than Ukraine. The Iran is the biggest resistance in France's lower place of parliament and leads Macron's collusion overwhelmingly in European political race surveys in front of the June 9 vote. The vast majority of Macron's European partners have said they wouldn't send troops to Ukraine, while French authorities have demanded any such powers could be shipped off back activities, for example, demining, as opposed to battling Russian powers. Representing the initial time after Sunday's official political race, Russian President Vladimir Putin answered an inquiry regarding the chance of a rough clash among Russia and the West by depicting what is happening as above. Focusing on that, the sky is the limit in the cutting-edge world. That's what he contended. It will be one stage away from a full-scale third universal conflict. However, scarcely anybody is keen on this. Putin had cautioned before the political race that his nation was actually prepared for atomic conflict. Having raised the danger of atomic conflict intermittently during the Russo-Ukrainian conflict, the Russian chief reference universal conflict ally to dot to French President Emmanuel Macron, referencing the chance of sending NATO troops into Ukraine. Despite the fact that NATO, the US, Germany, the Unified Realm and Italy have proactively dismissed that thought, Macron keeps on taking punches at Russia. Yet again, most as of late, he said that the French armed force could need to arrange an immediate intercession in the event that the Russian powers were to walk toward Kiev or Odessa, recognizing Russia as an foe and contending that enduring harmony won't be imaginable without Crimea turning into a Ukrainian domain. The French president demands that Russia should not win the Ukraine war and cautions that Ukraine's loss would obliterate Europe's believability. In spite of financial approvals, and the convergence of Western military guide into Ukraine, in any case, Russia remains not even close to the essential loss that the West frantically believes it should endure. The Russian economy, too, is by all accounts in any way okay. The conveyance of new and all the more remarkable weapons to Ukraine, or the sending of Western soldiers, notwithstanding, would make a showdown among NATO and Russia more probable. In the midst of the conflict of words between the Russian and French presidents, in any case, the chance of harmony additionally comes up. For instance, Macron said that he would ask Russia for a truce throughout the late Spring Olympics in Paris. Putin, who used to discuss harmony somewhat more regularly, has a few doubts, taking note of that he doesn't need an interruption of 18 two years for rearmament purposes regardless of leaning towards serious harmony talks. With the two chiefs taking pokes at one another, the undeniably successive notice of the chance of atomic conflict will keep on agitating the worldwide local area. Having been driven away from Africa because of Russia's developing impact there, France attempts to join Europe around a typical position toward Russia, which is difficult work. The chance of a vicious clash with Russia threatens European legislatures, yet harmony doesn't appear to be on the table, essentially until the US official political decision. This is where we wrap things up until further notice. On the off chance that you haven't bought in, compassionately do so and furthermore leave a thumbs. Gratitude for watching. See you in the next video.